How you doing? Jeff here from Deep Circle Battery San Diego. Today we're talking about charging settings for AGM flooded and gel batteries. The questions we get asked a lot is, what happens if I decide not to set change the charger settings on my, uh, my charger for my AGM uh, or gel batteries that I just put in there? Here we have a Victron inverter charger and just an example of uh, one of the pieces of equipment you might find, let's say, on your boat. Well, long term, the effects of overcharging because the AGM and gel batteries take less voltage for the bulk, bulk absorb and flow. Long term, you'll create some gassing. And the problem with the gassing is that you're losing um, oxygen and hydrogen. And those cannot be replaced inside the battery because it is sealed. Once, those, once you start to long term gas your batteries by overcharging, the battery will start to dehydrate or, and it'll lose conductivity and it'll fail. So you'll see a page that'll show you some examples of those settings in case you need to go do that now. I would always say check with the manufacturer specs to see what they recommend. It was very clear doing the research on this that AGM and gel batteries do not like when talking about a 12 volt system. They don't like 15.5 volts. Um, now if, you do, if you're a person who do like, does like to equalize your batteries, I, I think that's a great behavior to follow. Look on Lifeline's website. They have a guide for equalization. If you follow it and you're very careful, I think you can successfully short-term equalize your batteries. Um, but long-term, high voltage will damage them. Uh, the second question we get asked is, can I mix an AGM with a standard flooded? Or can I mix a gel with a standard flooded? Or can I mix an AGM with a gel? Aren't they close? Well, yeah, they're close, but the charge, the charge settings are different. So as a rule of thumb, you don't want to mix different chemistries of batteries. And as a rule of thumb, you don't want to introduce different age of batteries. If I had a, a bank of batteries that are a year older, I would never want to introduce a new battery, which always presents a problem because people want to re replace one or two in their bank. Well, the answer would be then to maybe find a used battery that had the approximate same age as the uh, original. I hope that helps you. Again, this, this video will link to a page that has these values for you to look at. We have uh, voltage settings for bulk absorb and float for 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt uh, settings. Take care, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we always enjoy your comments. Take care. Thank you.